So I'm having an amazing seven hour train ride up to Boston, loving it. <laughs> so I'm on the train, I'm about five hours in, I did try, decided to treat myself to perhaps my eighth bathroom break. I go to the bathroom and I shut the door and a gentleman never tells. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as one does, I go to leave the bathroom. And the door does not open. And I try and I try and I really pull. And then the claustrophobia starts really setting in really bad because I'm trapped in a bathroom on the train. Um, and I'm pulling on the thing and then I notice there's a button to call attendant. So I'm pressing the button. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. No one's coming. I don't know if the button is creating a sustained noise or it's like I push it, it's on, just chill. Did you no try a few different patterns? Just no one for comes for about five minutes and I'm still in the bathroom and I'm starting to lose it pretty bad at this point, I'll be honest. And I start pounding on the doors, help, help, help. And I'm pounding, I'm pounding, I'm pounding. I'm finally, like in all my moving and jerking, I find that what has happened is the train has come off the track. No, not, no, the, not train. the train. Sorry. Yeah. Jesus. That was a pretty bad slip of the tongue. My apology. What a why? And so here's the thing. There's fire everywhere. No, no, no. This, so this doesn't happen. This was fine. The door, you know, the, the sliding door to the bathroom has come off the track. So I think, okay, well. That's a different. The stakes of that sentence are so profoundly different. Because even if you arrive to the station trapped in a bathroom, you still got to the, the station. The, the distance between I was trapped with my own embarrassing doo-doo smell versus a hundred souls. So, the door had come off the track. Through an impressive amount of Herculean effort, I lift the, the door up and get it back in its track. It pops right open. Great. Now, I also have not thought about this the first time you told me the story, but also you must have closed it too hard, right? No, I closed it perfectly. Yeah, what'd you do? Everyone knows that I closed bathroom doors. You must have been so excited to do this. <laughs> okay, so I opened the door, and I very coolly <laughs> walk back to my seat. Now, I walk past someone who looks at me when I come out, and it occurs to me, this must be very confusing for them. Huh. Because they're seated right next to the bathroom door. So, in their experience, a husky boy walks into the bathroom. They hear a lot of pounding and screaming for help. And then same husky boy walks out of the bathroom, not a care in the world. Now, hold on. Well, okay. The, that, so, I was very concerned about what that person thought until I realized he listened to my cries of, of agony and terror and did nothing. So their, their experience was, help me, help me. I'm like, oh man, I hope somebody helps I that hope guy. hope somebody helps or that Or alternatively, guy. help me, help me. What did they do to deserve this? The poor Can I guy. ask what you all would do in that seat though? Because I imagine my thought process would be, this would probably be a pretty uncomfortable social engagement for myself. So I'm going to hope that someone else comes or the husky boy dies inside the bathroom. Because here would be my fear. I would engage and then realize there was nothing I could do to help oh, and then have man. to hit that point of, well, I'm going to go back to my seat. One of my, no, 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 no. One of my favorite ways to help strangers is when the job is to get an adult. That's fantastic. I can get an adult every time. You look for someone in like a hat yeah. with something on it usually. A and then clipboard preferably. A clipboard, a name tag, and then that adult takes over. Get, get, go grab, pull on the collar of CGI Tom Hanks and get him to 